any of you know, camps are our bread and butter, so I have a lot to say about camps. I think camps are the most underrated developmental resource that you can possibly put your child in. The fact that you can get six hours of baseball um, on a, in a day. Think about this. You can get six hours times five days a week, 30 hours of baseball in one week of baseball camp. That's like an entire season of practices. How cool is that? So if you want your child not just to get better at baseball, but fall in love with it, send them to camp. Camps, when you're signing your child up for camps, don't look for development. I'm sorry, but there, you're not going to tell me that there are camps out there that genuinely develop skills like you would in a little league practice. Yes, we uh, or in a travel ball practice. Yes, we develop skills at Legends Baseball Camps. Um, but it is fun first. Fun is number one. We solve for fun. We will still get better at the same time, but I'm not going in there and I'm not pitching everyone saying, hey, you know, this is gonna make your child an all-star. This is gonna take their hitting skills, you know, from, from here to there. We will get better, but the strides are not the types of strides that you'd make over the course of a season. So when you're looking for summer camps or camps, winter camps, holiday camps, doesn't matter, look for fun first. Next is um, camps are great because you can play with friends. They're great because you're out there all day and you get lots of exercise. Um, but like I said, the downsize is that they're not always developmental. Sometimes they are money grabs, meaning that if you know that if you have anything greater than a 10 to one coach to coach to kid ratio, that's probably a bit of a money grab. They're throwing a clinic up there because it's better money for them than a private lesson. And they can take 10, 20, 30 kids at once, put two coaches out there. And it's like they just did 20 to 30 lessons at once. So pay attention. You should be looking for camps that have somewhere around a six to one player to coach ratio. Anything more, they're just not going to get the level of supervision and instruction and attention that they need to make it a fun, worthwhile, and meaningful experience so that they're getting tons of repetitions like you would do get at a Legends camp, for instance. Um, and lastly, you know, with camps, it's just sometimes it's tough to get information on them. Um, we might be unfamiliar, so make sure that you're asking friends and families and, and family and looking up Google and Yelp reviews and getting the proper information that you need to determine whether or not this this camp will serve your 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 child in the way that you want it to. Um, so camps, I would recommend do as many camps as you can. I mean, they're fun. They're out there all day. They're going to get better. They're playing baseball all day long. Um, try to do them before the season. It's a great warm up for the season. Again, look for camps that are fun, fun first and stay away from any camps that are supplemental to another program. For instance, if you're a travel ball organization, or if you're a college or a high school and you're doing a, a, a camp, I would be aware of those. All right, you because that's not what they specialize in. They're just throwing a camp up to make a little bit more money um in addition to their core offering. So with someone like Legends Camp for instance, you know, that is our that's our thing. That's what we specialize in. Like we eat, drink, breathe camps and fun. I would look for other camps like Legends that that is what they do. They specialize in camp fun. So again, we, we don't just operate a camp. We call it an experience. We offer them for winter break, holidays, and summer. Uh, summers, feel free to check us out. Clinics. Clinics are awesome. I love clinics, but you know, a certain type of clinic is important. First off, clinics are great because you know we run um, pitching, you know, catching specific clinics. We've done uh, uh, strength and conditioning clinics. Uh, hitting clinics, they're great because you can get skill-specific training on a specific skill that you need your child to improve upon. So that's pretty cool. Um, you could also learn from a specialty coach, like I would consider myself an expert catching coach. Those might be difficult to get um, access to. For instance, you just I don't do lessons, uh, catching lessons, but you could access my catching knowledge by signing up for a catching clinic. Um, but if let's, let's say you wanted to get access to uh, a pitching instructor, a high-level one, but you can't get private lessons with him, well, maybe he's running a pitching clinic. You can sign up for something like that. But the skill-specific training that you'll get in a skill-specific clinic will be better than what you might get in a practice. For instance, catching work, you're not going to, it's hard to find a catching instructor or that's going to be within a, a travel team, for instance, and one that's going to be able to take enough time and a practice to give you catching specific instruction. So clinics are great for that reason. There's also a lower commitment. It's not a couple thousand dollars like a travel team. We're talking a few hundred dollars for a clinic. Um, and then also, you know what you're solving for. You're solving for development. So look for uh, clinics that provide quality development and ask questions, ask friends, ask for recommendations for what's worked for other people.
But some some of the downsides are again, you know, if you have a speaker, one speaker with 30, 40, 50 kids and parents, you know, the ex pro or the, the pitching coach for the, the Astros or whatever, for me, that's a big money grab. We know that skills are built over time. We know that Gen Z doesn't learn by long lectures or videos or anything like that. They learn by doing. So the time that we spend um, or money that we spend signing up and listening to a speaker or a one day clinic or a two hour session where we're just sitting in a seat, they're really, the kids are not going to retain that much. It's really not going to move the needle as far as their development. So I'd make sure that you, you flag those and stay away from those ones that, uh, you know, have poor ratios or they're just bringing in a speaker. It might be interesting, but, uh, is it really worth your time and dollars? Not sure. Clinic recommendations, again, pay attention to the radio uh, ratio, stay away from, from one-day events, and do your research. And then lastly, if your child specializes, like he really wants to get better at, at pitching or catching or hitting or, or just infield, find skill-specific clinics that attack that specific area. So that's some thoughts. Um, what does the Legends offer? We offer winter skills clinics, including pitching clinics, uh, swing development programs um, called our Swing Builder Program. Uh, and then our, um, I personally run a catching program, which is fantastic.